The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. By the chaste and holy married life you led together, Joachim and Anne, you have fashioned a jewel of virginity. She who remained a virgin before, during, and after giving birth. She alone for all time would maintain her virginity in mind and soul as well as in body. She was chosen to give birth to the author of life. Joachim and Anne pray for all Christian Mary couples that they may live their Christian vocation fully in the Lord and for his church. Let us pray. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the church. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you. That promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love, which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses the Bible speaks of. They have gone before us marked with the sign of redemption and lived their lives by faith. They inspire us by their holy lives. They also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. Included in this communion of love are the parents of Mary, the mother of the Lord Jesus, Joachim and Anne. They are a sign and symbol of the beauty of married love. They are also the maternal grandparents of Jesus. Good parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grandparents of our Savior Jesus Christ, when life seems barren, help us to trust in God's mercy and be fruitful. When we are confused, Help us to find the way back to God. When we are lost in the desert, lead us to those whom God has called us to love. St. Joachim and St. Anne, pray for us.